Hey guys, welcome back to the Medco Aspirant. I'm your Dr. Shivam, and today we are going to talk about how to prepare for the Crop One examination, which is supposed to be take place on the 26th and 27th of June. So stay tuned. Coming up next. Before starting Crop examination, I'd like to tell you that medical examination or any kind of exam in this world is take place to check your knowledge or eligibility that you are eligible to go in the next level or not. Similarly, here Crop One examination is take place. In third year and in sixth year, and then Croc N, Croc 3, Croc M, and Croc B. There also take place to check your knowledge that you should be promoted in the next level or not. Any kind of examination is supposed to be dependent on three factors. What are those three factors? They are the first one, resource, second one, strategy, and third one is a confidence. Resources are those things from which we take nutrition of exam, and we are supposed to give the good result when you have the good compact and also it should be latest version. Here, the resource of CROC is decided by the time which is left to the real examination. Unfortunately, most of the students in Ukraine start studying for the CROC one one month before or two months hardly. So it is going to be really very difficult to cover huge slabs of nine subjects of medical science in the one or two month. Here are the standard resources of medical science which is given and basically all medical schools in the all around the world follow this kind of this kind of routine and they have to compete one curriculum and the subject or syllabus. But in CROC case there is some different because nine subjects of the CROC. The first one anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, histology, midbiology, pathanatomy, pathophysiology and pharmacology with microbiologies give the nine subjects a compact basic science of medical. To choose your resource it should be very you should be very clear that what is your target and how you are supposed to achieve that. In the case of Croc 1 examination, your resources are basically belong if you are from the good university like Chernobyl, Venezia, then you have their own material. So you don't have to go other because that is sufficient. But if you are from other universities where it is really so difficult to tell they are preparing for Croc or not, so in that moment you should buy some very valuable resources it may be from Kharkiv or if you want then you can go to the midquest fire notes the second one is strategy strategy has those things which is composed of three very important thing that is your study routine schedule and your way to proceed that kind of particular subject in case of croc it is up to you because i personally believe that if you are data daytime study person or in the night time both are equally good so don't change that according to the schedule of someone else right so here you should have a proper three to five year of a study plan while going through the one month before one month if it, because uh, normally everyone having one or two months then they start preparing so in that moment you should have three to five hour routine to self-study so here in case of uh, like uh, uh, your strategy include that uh, as i told you that the first one is goes to be a schedule and your routine according to you, it's your personal choice and the third one is your process how you should proceed this section i would like to recommend you that there are nine subjects but how you should approach normally when you are end of your third year in that moment you are going to be the rock one examination and the subjects which is supposed to be covered that is path anatomy path physiology and pharmacology so you should cover these three subjects first here is my example that how i i did and how i suggest you to get over this because there are nine subjects so divide them in the three slot okay and follow the routine of sandwich model in which the two easy subjects and one in mid that is tough subject for me personally pharmacology was the little bit tough so that i keep pharmacology in the middle one so first i study path anatomy then pharma then path, uh, path physio so the three routine the sandwich model is going to cover in the 15 days and you will see that you have covered the 15 days slabs uh, whole slabs in the 15 days the next slot similarly is going to be biochemistry physiology and microbiology microbiology is supposed to be tough in most of the cases so that moment keep the microbiology in between them how to proceed them you can take 10 concepts 20 concepts at a time from each subject now the last one that is your confidence how confidence come see guys there is minor difference between confidence and overconfidence i'm talking about self-confidence when you practice more and more the question and that moment when you are reading any concept again and again then you are confident enough to give the correct answer so if you think that you know the answer by mugging up or rhyming all these things and you are confident enough then you are overconfident because according to the paper of 2021 recent the February it was much more difficult and it was their questions pattern was changed so if you think that you are just going through the options of previous year and you will get the good, good marks 
I think it is going to be tough for you. Here in case of confidence making, there are two slots which I personally recommend you should follow while preparing for the Croc 1 examination because these are really effective. Not only for the crop, but also if you are preparing for any kind of exam, that moment it is going to help you. The slots are like, there should be the maximum gap between two slots so that it will be the maximum retaining of memory in your mind. Suppose that. So how you should proceed? Let me make it clear because it is going to be a little bit complicated. In the first slot, when you are following the question paper round, in that moment, go to the maximum minimum limit. As you know that everyone says that 10 hour, 10 year or 6 year papers are enough then how you should approach. So in that case, you should follow the maximum to minimum limit. What are actually when you are going through a question paper, that moment, uh, you're the, for your first uh, first question paper, which is going to take, that is 21. And the second one, which you, you are going to doing today, that should be uh, 2011. Similarly, the second day when you, have, when, you are, when you are going through the next question paper, then that is, that is supposed to be 2020 and 2012. In this way, you will realize that in the five days, you will cover 10 question papers. And if I tell you technically, it every paper gives you 100 concepts. So thousands of concepts, concepts is going to be in your mind. And here is the answer of your question that in the strategy section, when I told you that you should follow that routine of three subjects at a time and three slots to cover whole flavors of the crop one examination. So how you should go, hear the answer that when you start preparing from like, like uh, tomorrow you start and in that moment you cover two paper, two question papers from the like 2021 and 2011, then you have to, how you have to do that question paper. Yeah. Here, how you have to approach that question papers, these question papers are really designed Actually, few questions, they don't have any kind of concept and logic. So you will have to, and unfortunately, you'll have to just go through that. But in case of when there is some medical science concepts, just try to study them and try to read them, their language, what they are really asking to you. And you should be able to tell the meaning of that question to someone else. Just act like that someone is sitting with you and you are explaining that, yes, this question, it is asking this, this, and this, and options are this one. So this should be your pattern while going through the question paper and the second one that uh, uh, how uh, you should get that uh, three subjects which subjects because it's you know too much syllabus so how you'll cover all these things so in that moment uh, it's very easy for you it is going to be easy for you because once you study that subject okay so find out the question from that department like it is from pathology then tick all questions from the pathology and pharma and that you are you are going to do it today when you are solving morning slot suppose that you are solving the two question like uh, two paper and uh, in the evening slot you are going to read their concepts by this you will cover whole syllabus and whole uh, I mean, uh, maximum concepts in the given I mean, limited period of time now the last one is your confidence confidence is supposed to become when you practice a lot because as you know that practice makes man perfect so that moment your con your confidence is going to be decided by the correct question I mean correct answers which you are going giving to the particular question paper to the particular exam so in that moment you can you can so in that moment you can see that like if you're covering five days ten question papers then in the next five days you will get definitely you will get higher marks than comparison one I personally follow this chart because I, I, uh, I write down that what was my performance in the first attempt when I go through the sample paper second third and in the last one now in the last I'm going to summarize that I told you three factors of the giving going through the examination. The first one, resource. It should be latest, accurate and compact because you don't have time to go to the encyclopedia or the average standard version at research level. At least now you don't have time. The next one is a strategy. In a strategy, I told you that there is schedule, routine and the way. The way I told you and your routine is your personal choice and schedule according to the, your uh, time left because someone is having exam, I mean class, and someone is not having so it is up to you you'll have to decide that how much time you left and how you can manage them because time management definitely is effective process we are coming to the conclusion i told you the three factors and my personal recommendation while going through the preparation but how you should start preparation because what happened after two days definitely most of the time my students also say, also ask me that I, lo I lost my interest in a study and i'm not able to continue i suggest you that just do two things first whenever you sit on the table to study that moment switch off your phone just remove all gadget which distract you will disturb you and sit on the table for the three hour at least 
just do strict be strict to your mind to the paper if you are not able to sit for the 3 hour then how will be able to solve the questions in that pressure and stress scenario when you are in the real examination the second one that just be confident and compete with yourself don't compare with others that how their results are going on and how well they are and maybe it is possible that some concepts you are getting faster or he or she is getting later or he or she is getting faster you are getting late so that moment you don't have to be stressed one depressed one or tensed one you should think and you should always keep in mind there everyone is different and everyone is having their different mind setup so you should not compare with them just compare with yourself one thing keep in mind always that you have to improve yourself and by going through this kind of things definitely you are going to get a good result not only qualify hope my all this content will help you to give the real examination if you have any kind of equation regarding medical exam or latest information i'll be happy to answer them just you should you have to go to the comment box and write down those questions and also and if you want me to collaborate with you to explain the crock concepts and also the question explanation you can join my class and uh, take it take a demo also it is available and definitely if you have a question question and answer round i give in the free time and when i am appointed for someone then that moment in that moment my time is yours and i am working with you for you and it is going to give you a good result thank you and stay safe stay home and because it's covid pandemic situation i know it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to be in the room and study but you'll have to do and hope for the best all the best thank you